the assembly will hear an address by His Excellency Sorumbai Zembekov, President of the Kyrgyz Republic. I request protocol to escort His Excellency. <clears throat> On behalf of the General Assembly, I have the honor to welcome to the United Nations His Excellency Sorumbai Zembekov, President of the Kyrgyz Republic, and to invite him to address the Assembly. Please. Dear ladies and gentlemen, let me greet you warmly on behalf of the freedom-loving Asian Kyrgyz people with the millennial history of the Great Mountains. From the High Tribune of the United Nations, I would like to bring your attention to the issues that Kyrgyz Republic considers urgent, which require the joint solutions at the national, regional, and global levels. Dear ladies and gentlemen, allow me to greet all participants of the 73rd session of the UN General Assembly on behalf of the Kyrgyz Republic. The global political, economic, and the environmental situation is changing rapidly. The tendency of regionalism in the world politics is growing. Price increase, lack of liquidity, war of sanctions in the economy is continuing. The threat of terrorism and extremism spreads to all countries. Preservation of environmental balance has become a global issue for the whole planet. Despite their origin, these issues are the matter of concern of everyone, all countries, especially small countries with open economies. The above stated pro processes have been sensitive for Kyrgyzstan. Therefore, I believe that today it's quite time to discuss at the General Assembly the relevance of the United Nations for all people, as well as global leadership and mutual responsibility for peaceful, equitable, and sustainable societies. Using this High Tribune of the UN, I would like to outline the issues of national, regional, and global level that are relevant from the position of our country. Dear ladies and gentlemen, the peaceful transfer of power in the fall of 2017 laid a solid foundation for Kyrgyzstan's further progressive democratic development. At present, there is a political and social stability in the Kyrgyz Republic. This gives us the opportunity to set ambitious goals for the medium term. Kyrgyzstan stands for the development of parliamentary democracy in the country. The upcoming parliamentary elections in 2020 will confirm this again. We are deeply convinced that it is a parliamentary democracy that corresponds to the nature of the development of our society. The fight against corruption remains a priority of the state policy of the Kyrgyz Republic. As of today, we are facing the issues of political modernization and economic development in accordance with the future requirements. First of all, we are focused on the implementation of the judicial and legal reforms and the reorganization of the law enforcement bodies. Sustainable development of the regions of Kyrgyzstan is the key to successful development, and this is the most urgent, uh, urgent issue for the country. We set a task of improving the investment climate, started building the information society with a fair and transparent public administration. The Kyrgyz Republic will continue consistently strengthening the democratic principles in the development of the state. Public administration is focused on the needs 
of every person, ensuring their rights, freedoms, and justice in society. All the above-mentioned reforms of the medium and long term are included in the National Development Strategy of Kyrgyzstan until 2040. The provisions of the National Development Strategy for the long-term period meet all requirements of the UN Global Agenda 2030. In this connection, we hope for further support of the UN and the partner countries on Kyrgyzstan's efforts in its development. Kyrgyzstan remains committed to be the to the implementation of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Ladies and gentlemen, strengthening the entire spectrum of cooperation between the countries of Central Asia, we consider is the most important factor of ensuring security, not only in the region, but also in the world. It's gratifying to note that our cooperation has acquired a positive momentum and has reached a fundamentally new level. The meetings of the heads of the states and foreign ministries of the countries of Central Asia have become traditional. For the Kyrgyz Republic, the issue of water use is extremely important. The practice of the last decades of using water and energy resources in Central Asia shows the need to develop new approaches. We are convinced that the integrated use of water and energy resources in the region should be determined by a system of measures aimed at the sustainable development of all Central Asian states. Therefore, Kyrgyzstan has consistently advocated the development and implementation in Central Asia of mutually beneficial economic mechanisms in this area. Cooperation and the comprehensive dialogue are considered by the Kyrgyz side as the only way and the no alternative for solving existing challenges. In this context, we also see a special role and new mission of such regional organizations as CIS, COC, OACS and the EEU today overcoming the isolation policy and developing the vector of cooperation and partnership have become very important. No state is immune from the threats related to terrorism and extreme extremism. The international community must work together more actively to combat this as courage and such phenomena as drug trafficking, trafficking in persons and weapons, money laundering and the financing of terrorism. This is very important for us. As we are at the crossroads of drug trafficking, unfortunately, the measures taken by the international community remain insufficient. It's important to pay special attention to solving this common problem in the region. Kyrgyzstan reaffirms its commitment to the effective implementation of the UN Global Counterterrorism Strategy and supports the Joint Action Plan coordination of efforts of the states in the region in uh, issues of security, coordination, the exchange of operational international uh, information is needed. The government of the Kyrgyz Republic has approved a program for combating extremism and terrorism until 2022. I thank the UN for its financial and technical assistance in the fight against terrorism and drug trafficking. And we look forward to further support for development partners in uh, issues of security. The transition to sustainable development is the restoration of natural ecosystems and the environment. Kyrgyzstan recognized climate change as a significant threat to exotic systems and people. We committed ourselves to counteract this global phenomenon by citing the Paris Agreement. Climate change is having an increasing impact on our glaciers and water resources, contributing to the growth of natural disasters in the mountainous regions of the country. These are the main uh, topics of the fourth World Mountain Forum in Kyrgyzstan, organized to discuss new ways of development for the prosperous future of mountain regions. The main issue of regional nature in the area of environment remains the problem of the legacy of the radioactive industry of the Soviet era, uranium tailings. To solve this problem, Kyrgyzstan held a number of international conferences. At the UN site, on September 27, we 
have held an event dedicated to the dangers of uh, uranium mining with the aim to enter a new stage of actions for reclamation of uranium tailings. Kyrgyzstan is taking the initiative to update the UN General Assembly Resolution of 2013, the role of the international community in av averting the radiation threat in Central Asia. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our development partners who rendered our country significant support in solving these issues. The problems noted above require the joint work of all states as well as global and regional institutions. There is a need to create fundamentally new international mechanisms that are adequate to modern challenges and threats. Our organization needs changes, and this is already a requirement of time and the present realities. This reform should be based on the principles of universality, broad geographical representation, and the widest possible support of the UN mem member states. Kyrgyzstan seeks to make its contribution to the common cause of the United Nations for peace, global security, and sustainable development. In order to draw the attention of the United States, nations and the world uh, community to the problem of small states, Kyrgyzstan has put forward its candidacy for non-permanent members of the UN Security Council for the period 2027-2028. The support of countries that have not been elected to the UN Security Council will give confidence in the equality of the members and thereby raise the strength and uh, the credibility of the organization. Kyrgyzstan considers the UN as an authoritative and universal international organization. It should be emphasized that important factor is in preserving peace, stability, development of cultural diversity, and tolerance in the deepening of intellectual dialogue. This was brilliantly and talently written in works of our distinguished writer, Chengzait Madhav. He made a significant contribution to building peace and exchanging cultures between different countries. This year, Kyrgyzstan and the whole world is celebrating the 90th anniversary uh, of Chambers Aitmatov. The initiative of Kyrgyzstan to hold the World Nomad Games on a regular base was recognized and supported by the UN General Assembly. These games have shown that despite of all complexities and the contradictions of the modern world, the peoples of the all, all countries are striving for unity and creation. Dear compatriots, our nation consider independence and freedom to be the highest property, which found its worst place in the world community. Kyrgyzstan has been recognized as a sovereign state in the international arena. As a great son of the Kyrgyz people, the famous writer, philosopher, humanist, Chinggis Aitmatov said, there is no greater wealth for a man than to live together and peacefully. Only unity and harmony will save the world. The unit of the people is the main guarantor of the sustainable development of our country. Interesting friendship in society and the responsible attitude of every citizen for the destiny of the country is the basis of success. Independence of Kyrgyzstan and the unity of the people are our future and happiness. May God grant mercy to the people of Kyrgyzstan and let peace reign in our land. I wish every citizen of the country health, luck, happy and peaceful life. Long live our independent Kyrgyzstan. Thank you. On behalf of the General Assembly, I wish to thank the President of the Kyrgyz Republic for the statement just made. May I request representatives to remain seated while we greet the head of state.